toy, I got this Aeroband Pocket Drum 2 Plus. So basically this is like air drums. I always wanted a drum set, so I thought this would take up little to no space, that's it. And I can put headphones on and listen to it, or I can play it through a speaker, which I'm going to do right now. So let's check this out. Pocket Drum 2 Plus. I'll put a link in the description of where I got this, and I actually had a 10% off code. So I'll try to find that and put it in the description too, but it was through another YouTuber's channel where I got the code, and it worked. 10% off. Anyway, here's what's in the box. It's got some instructions for setup. It has two drumsticks. They have power buttons on each one of them. I think they're about the same weight as regular drumsticks. I'm not sure. I'm not a drummer. It has this little tiny receiver. This is like the control panel for the whole thing. So this has a USB-C plug on one side, and it says DC 5 volt and MIDI out. Then it has a line in, line out. The line out is going to go to my speaker. It comes with this little tiny 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter male cable. So one end plugs into the line out, and one goes to the speaker if you have it. Or you can also do it from a larger jack, like to an amplifier. I have that cable, but I just didn't bring it home. I have one at work. So maybe next time I'll plug it into my amp. So anyway, this little Aeroband receiver, I'll show you how this works in a minute. There's a USB-C to USB cable in here. There's two of these USB to USB-Cs. So I'll show you where these plug in, but two on this one, two on this one. So. Two of these plug into the drumsticks, into the end, and that's how you charge them. So there's two on here, you can charge both at the same time. The second one with the two USB-Cs, one of them plugs into the receiver, and the other one plugs into the bass pedal and the hi-hat pedal. And that light comes on once I turn it on, you'll see. But yeah, there's a plug there to do USB to that. So you can charge this and the receiver on one, and you can charge the drumsticks on another. All right, so I plug these in to charge. So there's the two into the drumsticks. There's a blue light on there, and I believe when it's solid, they're charged. So I think the drumsticks are all charged up, but that's blinking, so that's charging. And then this receiver is blinking, so that's charging. So I just plugged them into a USB port on my MacBook Air. So I'm going to charge those up for a while and then I'll finish the video. Enough talking, let's get into this. I'll show you how it works. So first I'm going to take the receiver. There's a power button on here. And when you press it, there's a little light on there. Probably a little bit hard to see. And then, and then when I press the bass drum pedal, the light comes on on that. So you know you have power. So I'm going to put this on line out. I'm going to turn on my little Bose speaker. I don't care. So I'm going to plug that into the aux port. And then you can test the volume by pushing the bass pedal. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. There's a plus and minus button on here, there's a voice button, and then there's the power button. Um, there's a way to do double bass, which I'll show you a little bit later, but I'm going to put the bass pedal on my right foot and the hi-hat on my left. Three days later. Alright, once you get everything hooked up, the power light shows up there on the, the bass drum. You have to turn the power on the receiver. There's just a little button on there, a power button. It'll be blue on there. And then I use this little 3.5 millimeter cable to hook to my little speaker. And then the drumsticks, to calibrate, you want to hold them flat in front of your stomach. Tilt the drumsticks at like a 45 degree angle right in front of you. Try to keep them level. Then hold the two buttons and they'll vibrate when they're done, when it's calibrated. <laughs> Snare. Right in front. The hi-hat. There's a crash symbol above it. Then there's like three toms, the high tom. There's a mid middle tom. Then there's a low tom.
There's also a button on here for voice that has, I think, five different drum settings. So when you push the voice button, the snare will go. So that's another sound. There's one on here that's like techno or hip hop. So sometimes they're not calibrated exactly. So right here. Here's the drum kit that it starts off with. The sound gets louder the faster you swing the stick, so. Sometimes you have to recalibrate the drumsticks to get kind of out of whack. So I'm not sure. Sometimes I try to do it higher or lower just to see if it matches more. The hi-hat is the one that seems to not match that well. Snare should be here. Snare, hi-hat. But sometimes here it'll hit the hi-hat. So maybe I'll move it to the right a little bit. So there's the hi hat. And there's the crack. Just takes a little while to get used to like where the drums are, so you gotta kind of pretend in front of you. And I'm not a drummer. I just do the same beat all the time. So there is a way to do double bass pedals. So right now it's just this pedal and this one's the hat. So if you hold the plus and minus sign at the same time on the receiver, and then you hear that noise, now it's double bass. The pedals aren't like a regular pedal like a drum kit. You actually have, like you put your foot flat on it. They're a little bit heavier than real drumsticks too. My friend who's a drummer tried them and yeah, he said they're a little bit heavier. So that's it. This is the Pocket Drum 2 Plus by Aeroman. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put some pictures in the video. So something needs to be charged because it's not working, so I'm going to have to charge this all up and finish this video. <laughs> yes, not you. It gets aimed down. If you swing, if you swing the sticks lighter, the sound is louder.